Ah, howdy hi. Sorry, I'm kind of drifting away here. Okay, I've been kind of talking about uh, opening another cave. But, uh, Chatboss000, without, you know, saying there were things I wasn't hadn't done yet, uh, did mention that there are uh, things I haven't done yet. <laughs> Thinking about putting one, I don't know. Obviously, another cave wouldn't be close, but... Uh, the reason I was thinking about another cave was, number one, I'm kind of curious to see how that'll turn out in terms of uh, if I can even do it and uh, without uh, frying out Wilson's game. And number two, uh, oh, the update said there were new pillars in level one of the cave, and I kind of wanted to see those. Uh, I haven't figured out where to put these walls yet, but I think you get back... Am I still toting you around? What's in you? Don't make me beat you. And why do you always hide behind crap? There ain't a damn thing in you. Just get your little ass out here where you belong. You don't even, you don't have to go in the bushes. Just stay there. Now I was thinking we need a place for these pretty walls we got, and I I I try to kind of I don't have any like neat place. Maybe we could put some out here on the balcony and lead them down to the pigs or something. I don't know. Some things confuse me in the game. I am glad I made them. Oh, but uh, anyway, oh, Chatball000 asked if I was going to uh, uh, smash any of the uh, ancient altars since I had so many. And uh, uh, for loot. Sorry, I can't complete a complete sentence today. Oh, gosh, don't make me move. Oh, oh, gracious. I, boy, I jacked that up, didn't I? Well, I may be moving some stuff here. What is that joke thing that shows that poster that says plan ahead and the, the letters stream off the end of the poster? Don't think I won't smash a crock pot, because I will. I smashed so much crap to rebuild his base. Oh, there's another issue that came up. Um, I was in forums and happened to see some stuff about a couple of notes about my uh, my channel. One was I use the uh, use the webcam too much and it takes up a third of the screen, which is cool. Either you like the webcam or you don't. It, it's cool either way. Uh, if you don't like it, you shouldn't watch webcam videos. I'm totally comfortable with that. Uh, but the oh shoot, didn't mean to do that. Well, that might have been a good use for this though, actually. But also, uh, one of the comments was that uh, Wilson's World is, seems to be mostly to entertain myself. And it isn't to entertain myself, but it is to be entertaining. Now, Wilson's World is kind of based on the assumption that you have played some of uh, Don't Starve. It wasn't set up to be a walkthrough, a tutorial, or anything like that. Most of what Wilson does assumes that whoever's watching knows a certain amount about the game. And that's the way, you know, when I start a new core world, like uh, Wilson started on day 428. When I'm first starting up, I do things gradual and I explain, you know, a lot of stuff. But at 798 days, uh, I'm not... I'm, this this isn't the video to find out how to make a farm. <laughs> I'm not mad at you for trying to find one to make a farm, but this isn't it. However, uh, Wicker Bottoms is, the early part of this is... I was afraid of that. Oh shoot, don't do that. Ooh, I only got one. Well, that blows. And uh, I just started a WX video where I try to explain a lot more. Am I not going to be able to hit that spot? Oh, you said sorry piece of crap. But anyway, I am going to uh, work on those uh, ancient altars, the extra ones. There it is, right there. Come on, you beast. There. All right, that's as much as I feel like doing at this point. So we have a little whatever. 
I don't even know what that is. If we had vines growing on it, it would look cool. If we had vines. So, what do I... Uh, kind of been all over the map here, haven't I? Alright, so anyway, Wilson's World is almost 800 days old. And I do it largely for entertainment. Uh, not specifically mine. I play the game for my entertainment. And I think most people probably do play games for their entertainment. Uh, but I try to do fun things, different things, things I haven't done before. I don't figure you want to watch me make honey ham for the 8 millionth time. Uh, the spin-off videos, the spin-off playlists like Wickerbottom's World, Willow's World, and now WX's World... Those, at least for about the first hundred days, I try to explain a lot of things, but they're still not walkthroughs. I uh, don't serve as like an encyclopedia anymore to, to say, well, this is a penguin, and it does this, and it has heard things, and it'll attack this way, and this is a frog, and it'll do this, and this, and this. And I, I, those are expository videos, and I don't do those. And uh, I will mention what I think is important as I work along and try to, 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 to break things down and show what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. But as far as showing everything in, in, in the, every world that I make, no, I don't do that. So, and uh, there are people that do some uh, real good tutorial type videos. So, and uh, the only other Don't Star videos that I currently watch, I used to watch Wagazes, and I watched the guy from Poland, and I'm sorry, but he's using his real name now, and I can't pronounce it. Uh, I watched him occasionally, and I watched Lord Ugg, and that's about it for my uh, Don't Star video watching. And I'm not mad at anybody that does them or anything like that. I just, for one thing, I don't uh, want to accidentally run off with somebody else's ideas. Oh, I watched the guy that did the, what is it, AKA Mike, I think. Uh, and I watched a couple of Riptide Pals after he did that live stream. Which doesn't really have shit to do with anything, does it? So, we need to be doing stuff. So, do we go? What I need to do now is, uh, so anyway, Wilson for Entertainment, the spinoffs if you want to kind of see how to start up a world. Pretty simple. And I'm not saying you won't learn things from Wilson, because uh, people certainly keep telling me they do. Um, so do I want to... I kind I really want to crack a cave and see that... Uh, see the uh, new pillars. So, what can we do here? So, I'm thinking about doing whatever I need to do to run down and... Uh, I don't want up... Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. That's enough. Let's see, so we got that, we got that, we got armor, more armor, okay, taffy, once it goes into the yellow, is crap, it's crappy, not taffy anymore, and those are crappy, all that'll spoil in there, it's no big deal, um, uh, I am gonna have to, shoot, don't I have any fresh honey, boy, I used up everything, didn't I? Okay, I'm gonna have to do what I call chores, that means, uh, harvest some farms, uh, plant some farms, uh, get the pigs probably to chop some wood. I need to grab some honey. I kind of like to do that before the day is over. Problem with nighttime is all the bees are in the hive and they will just beat the you know what out of you. And I think I waited too long. And the stupid bats are after you. The world's just not a happy place at night. Wow. I swear, whatever you don't particularly want is what you get. Now that may be a straggler bee from uh, bee mines or a smashed beehive or almost anything. I'm not good about picking up all the straggler bees. However, what they'll do is they go to, I think it's six flowers and then they start making new flowers. So straggler bees are a good thing. They don't murder you in the night. They're not the ones after me. It's these ones with homes. And 42 honey, which is the way it's set up. 
<laughs> okay, well, I'm thinking chores. I'm thinking about doing something with some of that monster meat before it rots completely. I also ran across something interesting, and I'm sorry, but I don't know who to attribute to you. There's a thread in forums. It's uh, useless items in the game. I think that's where I got it. I, I could be wrong on that. I may not remember it right. But it was uh, one of the useless items in the game threads. And uh, it's the most current one that I saw. And uh, the person mentioned uh, all the healing stuff. And that they just healed with uh, food stuff. Now, bandages that I'm running down there to get reeds for. Uh, and I want to use up these uh, almost worn out ones so I can redo them. I wish there was a way to repair them, but I can't. You know, since they only take one of everything, I don't know how that would work, so it's no big deal. Uh, not actually a suggestion. But anyway, a dragon pie heals what a bandage that I'm running around in the reeds for a whole day. So if you just blow off the, the food loss, it kind of makes sense to have a stack of... Uh, stack of food to heal with and I'd never really thought about that I've done it in a pinch and I always expect somebody to comment and go oh, you wasted food there and some items I think uh, shoot I'm trying to oh, I need poop need to get that out of my hand okay I'm gonna do a I'm gonna finish this and then I'm going to do a quick trip. Well, we could do the quick trip because I'm going to put it on map to do my quick trip. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop over to Wiki. And I want to take a look at healing food. I think pierogies heal 40. Well, that says Dragon Pie heals 40. I don't know why I was thinking 30. Alright. Yeah, it says it heals 40. So Dragon Pie heals more than a Band-Aid, and it takes three sticks and a Dragon Fruit. So, excuse me, fish sticks heal 40, but they don't keep very long. They're uh, 10 days. And that's the other thing with uh, the uh, food, once it gets in the yellow, it doesn't heal. Or it doesn't heal as much. I think it doesn't heal. Uh, but Dragon Pie is 15 days. Fish sticks are only 10. Those are both 40s. I'm only doing the 40s. Uh, Mandrake Soup does 100, but I, I can't see doing that to a Mandrake, to tell you the truth. Uh, pierogies do 40, and they last, I think this says 20 days. I'm having trouble following the column down. Third one over. And last 20 days. So pierogi is probably the best for for a healing uh, whatever. And waffles, it says 60. I don't remember being 60. So, But they're made out of butter. And I think last I knew butter was like a 2% drop. Yep, still 2% drop. So... My parents, this is not dumb, but my parents grew up in the Depression, and I was raised from an early age, don't waste food, don't waste food. So even in a game, the idea of just pounding food for, now fish sticks, it's just, that would seem to be situational with 10 days, because they'll spoil before the 10 days. Well, we're at 66, where's the dragon pie? Oh, my pie's a dragon, baby. Okay, we're at 66. 106, biggest squat. Well, I... I can't see pierogies being a better option there. Oh, they keep longer. Okay, so do we want to hire piggies for wood, or do we want to hire, uh, or do we want to turn these into eggs? Uh, I think we have to hire piggies for wood. All right, that'll wait. And we can do most of it off camera. Uh, so the plan is, as it is right now, to crack another cave and see if I in minimal time I can find the new pillars in level one and then go back and just loot the crap out of the other cave uh, the old cave but leave at least probably I there are obsessive compulsive things that I do and one of them is not destroying all but one machine <laughs> 
be like me to be down there with a hammer in my hand and uh, towed the last machine out. Oh, I lost two crackpots somewhere. <laughs> uh, we can make the porch bigger. Alright, you gotta see that. <laughs> That's my were pig army. I didn't even think about it. I just walked over here and they all woke up and uh, marched down. Now all I'm doing with them is uh, tree grabbing, so. Oh, you stupid. You better get your asses up here and chop these trees. About had enough pigs. Theoretically, you shouldn't have to uh, keep chopping to keep them going, but I think they're strung out too far. I'll unleash you on this. Oh, that's one of my lure plants. That's one that's up here to aggravate the frogs, if you don't know. When I get near that spoilage, I'll lose them all. Yep, that's it. Attack the lure plants! Or not. Probably shouldn't have done that. Well, you can all run around out here like wild things. Come on, I said you could attack the piggies, or the hoppy hops. How many of you got? Not many, most of you went home. Well, why don't the rest of you just take your asses home? And I'll go do people things. How's that sound? We'll postpone the attack on the hoppy hops. You'll live another day of pig glory. Uh, when you know I'd have Zeno to the end of time. Oh, Helen, why? Oh, I had a torch for him to keep from freaking him out. <laughs> Karen, feeding of your pig friends. You know, I don't think you're worth the trouble, buddy. You better go home. I will unleash you on the hoppy hops, and that will end badly. Are you still with me, buddy? Well, I told you about this. Bye, Zeno. Sorry, dude. I was carrying meat. Uh. Okay, I'm down in the southern part of the swamp. This is where I never go. I've, I actually went into the swamp to gather reeds, despite what I said about using food for healing. And I haven't decided anything either way on that. So, and also, I found out in my, uh, Many, my chests of tentacles, I was uh, running out of tentacles, so this is a good place to run across a few for free. We gotta remember, well, no, that's right, F attacks now, so see, there's another one, so that's uh, kind of wish I'd done the foot, I hadn't planned on this, and there's a couple of live queens down here, obviously. So. Uh, oh, and there's a big dummy. Hey, big dummy. Now, I've never been able to get a tree guard to aggro a queen. And I've uh, actually gotten a queen to hit a tree guard, so. Now, I don't know which big, I don't think that's the original big dummy from back in the first hundred or so days of Wilson. What they're good for... Since uh, there's been berms around and uh, stuff like that, it's kind of a forgotten thing. But tree guards used to be a great way to uh, harvest uh, tentacle spikes. Now, ideally, I would prefer to hit it with my fist because you do less damage to him. I don't, there's a tentacle there if I can get him into it. And with the tentacles the way they are, it's a little bit trickier than it used to be. Because he can actually walk over a tentacle now without it aggroing him. Alright, that one did. Okay, now he's a medium one. Yeah, he's been out here too long. 
I was going to say, he's a medium one, so I don't know how well he'll do. <laughs> I guess that got answered. Now, if it weren't for the Thulocyte clubs and the new staffs and the ruins, I'd probably blow that off. Especially since Smelly's down there reaching for me. Uh, this is later at night than I meant to be down here, but you know what the hell.